Hi guys, it's Ruby with Oofy Scraps back for another 12 by 12 spread and today we are back in my Europe Summer 2019 album to scrap a spread from Milan. So we spent a couple days maybe in Milan, Italy and the highlight was for sure when we went and visited the I don't even know how to say it. It's like Fondant's Prada. It's a really, really, really cool museum. And I'll try and find a link of some sort to their website or something so you can check it out. But this was the coolest museum I've ever been to. And it was definitely a highlight of the trip and 100% the highlight of Milan. So I've got a little bit of memorabilia from this visit. I have like the guide with the map and stuff, and then I also have my ticket. And I took these photos through the Huji app, which is an app that kind of is supposed to create a sort of disposable camera effect, but it really gives this purpley, colorful kind of feel. And one photo is of the outside of the museum, and the other is a photo of my brother. Um, in one of the art installation rooms, and I don't remember the name of the artist, which is bad, because I also did a report on them, the artist, in um, an art school. I just graduated from art school. I graduated with an art, fine art degree, and for one of my um, sculpture classes, I did a report on this artist. So I will also link the name of the artist below. But it was this really cool mushroom installation, and the mushrooms were on the ceiling, but the floor was made to look like a ceiling and the ceiling was made to look like a floor. So when you took a photo sitting on the floor, it made you look like you were, if you flipped it upside down, it made you look like you were like floating. And it was really cool. So I wanted to do something that was very colorful, but I decided to do a black and white background. But this, as you can see on the bottom left, this paper has a bit of a multicolored stripe in it. So it was a bit of a pop-up color. And then I used the layering of photos or the paper that I layered beneath it to give those color pops. So I have this kind of watercolory paper and then I also had a really bright lime stripe paper that I also used. And this is from the... Uh, I tried to remember the paper pad. It's something color, bright color, fresh color. If I remember the name of it, I'll, I'll put that below as well. I'll try to remember to put all these things below. But anyways, um, I was cutting down to get more to that colorful edge of the paper. And yeah, I just start matting all my photos. There's that bright green color again. And I also used the a strip, a strip of the um, the like map to create a matting. So on the right side, it has like the front cover. And then I chose to use the words on the inside, which describes maybe the idea of what was going on, maybe the recent art installations. I used that as a matting paper on the other photo. So you can see on the left, well, you guys can't see, but on the left column, it's all written in Italian. On the right column, it's in English. So it's cool. A cool little touch. Finally getting use out of all of the memorabilia I drag from place to place when I travel. And so I'm just cutting that down to size. And this was a really fun layout. I had these photos aside. I mean, I've had a bunch of my photos printed from Europe. And I've come to these photos and put them back and come to them and put them back. Because it was just a color scheme I wasn't familiar with using. And it definitely took some thought. But I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I think it was pretty fun. And it came across the way I wanted it to in terms of emotion, feeling, the, the essence I wanted to give with this, these photos and this day. It was very Wonderland, especially this one installation that we saw. And there are some other photos I want to scrap from this day, from this visit to the museum. There's a really beautiful um, balcony bar and restaurant that we went to for drinks. And they were like the most beautiful drinks I've ever seen before. It was super fun. And here I am including my little ticket. And the ticket was double-sided. I didn't realize at the time, but that was actually two tickets stuck together. And then that purple ticket on the right is just from a cut-apart sheet and it says Milan. And it happens to be a perfect shade of purple to go along with the color scheme I was working with. But yeah, those little ticket that I have from the actual museum is actually two tickets stuck together. And one side has the like ticket information and the other side is a neutral kind of general 
this has the name of the museum and whatever. And so I ended up flipping it over and including that on the other side of the page. So I'm sticking stuff down here. And you can see in that Polaroid I have to the top right, those are the photos of our drinks. But I decided I wanted to do that on a separate page. This is more about the art installations of the museum and less about the experience we had at the little restaurant. So I think this is when I realized it's two different cards. Yeah, here we go. So you can see it in the top right, that's the other side of the card. And it's kind of like a little bit laminated material. So I decided to use some double-sided tape to stick it down just to make sure it sticks. My glue stick is really only good with paper on paper or wood veneer on paper randomly. But yeah, I'm just kind of going back and forth on where I want to add it and how much I can tuck in because I don't want to cover any of the important information. And then there's the other one stuck down. And I mean, if you ever are in Milan, this is a must-see. It's such a cool museum. And they had some Jeff Koons artwork there, which I kind of find his work a bit problematic. But that is a whole another conversation, an art critique. But um, if you're not familiar with his work, he basically has other people make all of his work, doesn't really lay a finger on it, and takes all the credit for it, which I think is problematic. But a whole nother topic for another day, like I said. So I'm adding some chipboard stickers here. That one says take me somewhere and I wanted to incorporate more but this green tag didn't really make sense so it didn't end up on the page. And I kind of had a hard time finding good embellishments for this page so it ends up being pretty simple. As you can see it's a really short layout. It only took me about 20 minutes to make it and obviously sped up it's even shorter. But it was kind of a nice switch up. It's definitely not my style in general to do pretty simple pages but all the colors and, and also just my lack of having materials to go with these color scheme, it made me have a more simple page and I think that it ended up being pretty cool. So I found a little label tag that worked and I think I'll go back and put the date on that. I don't remember, I don't think I did that in the moment. And then my black tiny word stickers work for here. And I think I had some white ones too potentially, yep I do. So there wasn't like, like really applicable ones, but I think one said, oh yeah, one says one of a kind, and the other one says, love this day. So it was appropriate. The other ones are like, special moments, what a lovely, whatever, and that doesn't really make sense, but those two worked. And then I pull out these holographic silver stickers. You can see these crazy rainbow effects. And I definitely knew I was going to use these. I got these because I thought they were really cool, but I also did not know how I was going to use them because they're very rainbowy. But it was perfect for this layout. And I was thinking about making the title be just the name of the museum, but it's written so many places on all of the memorabilia I have. So I decided to go with What a Trip because it was a very trippy art museum, especially like the mushroom exhibit. And the way that this exhibit was is you would walk down this dark hole and into this crazy mushroom room. So it's supposed to be like falling down the rabbit hole, kind of like Alice in Wonderland themed. And this artist also does really cool installations with slides. He did a um, this thing at the Tate Modern, which is in London, which I've also been to that museum. It's another cool one, but not as cool as this one. And it, there was like, it's many, many stories high and there's a big, huge empty like you can see from the fourth floor you can look over the balcony and see the bottom floor and he created a slide from the top floor to the bottom floor which is supposed to be like making travel more exciting for an adult person or something like that it was a really cool art installation as well but yeah the other thing that was cool about this museum is that all of the buildings themselves are really interesting so there was this first building that was kind of stone and then there's another building that was completely gold like gold lacquer and it was really cool um but yeah it was just overall really cool museum and i'm adding some of these little starbursts they might be like multiplication signs but i added a few of those in as embellishments to bring that shiny color elsewhere and then i end up using three different mr huey's mists just to add some something because i was feeling like it was very plain 
But yeah, other than that, I think that that is the entirety of this spread. So it was a really quick one, maybe a better example if you don't want to use a million embellishments or you don't have a million embellishments to use. But it was definitely fun and colorful still, even though it wasn't super busy like normal. And I will be scrapping at least one other page from this museum, so you'll get to see a little bit more from there. And I ended up getting some mist on that Polaroid, so I had to clean it off. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I knock my tripod just to finish it off. And I will see you in the next one. Happy scrapping!